you know, you talk about, okay, we've got to, um, uh, you know, they're, 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 like with Strassman, we shouldn't really be, you know, we should like give him the benefit of the doubt. Alex, I just strongly disagree. Until we get some clarity. Hold on. Hold on. I I get your point there, but that's not real either. I mean, everything you're saying is true. So, you know, put together the other pieces that you're talking about with 9-11. I mean, come on. We've been at this for 17 years. Anyone who thinks we're going to get to the bottom of 9-11 or someone's going to come out and tell the truth, that guy that I don't, I haven't researched it enough to know if the guy is for real, but that YouTube that was making the rounds in the last couple months of a inside operative CIA guy who says, yeah, here's how we brought down Building 7. It was a controlled demonition. And it's a deathbed confession, which we know in a court of law carries a lot more weight than a regular confession. So I don't know if that's been debunked, folks. If it has, I apologize. But I've been meaning to research that, but I haven't. But the, the, the like you pointed out, the Pentagon thing, you know, anyone who just goes and looks at the Pentagon, you know, it's like game over. But come on, we're never going to get to the bottom of that. So why no, not? I don't. Why ex- not? Well, I, I, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about from a pragmatic practical standpoint. I'm saying we have to try and navigate all this stuff the best that we can. And I'm just I'm just uncomfortable with the assume that they're all dirty thing because I think it can that can also lead us down a path where we're just create an echo chamber of confirming our own beliefs. So Alex, again if you have something found out until we find out what's inside the government this is all, you know, angels dancing on the head of a pen. Who knows? I just, I don't have a clue. I don't know if Strassman is dirty. How would I possibly know that? I don't know him. I've never studied his work. It could well be that he's not. But the point is, we cannot go forward at this particular time. But we're with all the going of, forward of, of, all of the time, Joe. We're all going forward all the time. We're all well, trying to figure out. Forward, Alex, let's go forward to some clarity of what exactly the government's doing, because here's my point. Look, this was all used against us once, right? It was all used against us. The sex, drugs, and rock and roll culture was artificial. It was used against us. It really uh, debased and damaged our culture. And so now, as we you know, ha- sit here, we have uh, you know, this new era new drugs, new research, uh, new government involvement. We just aren't in a position until we know what is controlling the government to trust these things. They hurt us once. This time, let's put a little scrutiny and sunlight on these things. And, you know, it's it's like with Strassman or, or any of the people that are kind of advocating sort of the psychonauts, right, that are wanting this, you know, let's go into this area and try to do more research. Here's what I would say to them, Alex. You know what? If you are really ethical, then what you should do is is not put the cart before the horse. The first step should be we've got to really understand what the tradition of this psychedelic movement is. That's the first thing we've got to do. We need informed consent. So before you start promoting all of the advantages, right, and spiritual development that these drugs can bring, You've got to give the public the truth about the history of all of them and the truth about what the government did and what, what it was trying to do and what sort of influence it was trying to have. If we get there, we will have informed consent. But if we, if we don't get there, if, we don't, if we're sitting there saying, well, let's try it again, I'm sorry. I just, to me, it's just, it's completely unethical. Until we get to the bottom of what happened and who did it and how it was designed and what the purpose of all this stuff was, we shouldn't be trying to move forward with, uh, with you know, psychedelic drugs and particularly drugs like uh, the, the business with Strassman where he's getting government funding. Matt, I would just say that on its surface is, uh, is just a really bad idea. So let's, let's stop, pause, um, and spend a little bit of time getting an understanding of what happened to us, and then we'll know how we can move forward. 